Hello and welcome to our 2013 63 registered Mini John Cooper Works R56 with the robust N18 engine. I'm just going to walk around and show you some bits about this car. Now, this is a race car. It is perfectly suitable for daily use, but I think it belongs on a track. It would be great fun. Uh, on the track and is set up as such. So I'm going to go through what those things are that make this ready for track use. So now we've had a brief walk around of the car. To go have a look at these wheels. They have been refurbished and are painted in Ferrari gold. So this is driver side front. We have brand new Toyo Proxy Sport tires and a Brembo disc and pads with original calipers. We have cascading LED side repeaters, carbon ABS handles. Now we're on to the driver's side rear. Again, excellent condition wheel. They are on a stud conversion as well. This caliper has been refurbished and fresh brakes. Toyo Proxy Sports again. We can see the lines are still there because we've just fitted them. Rear parking sensors and a mini challenge rear diffuser along with a uh, DCAT exhaust. This is genuine carbon fibre, a very expensive part and is an original mini part, as well as this rather rare carbon G-wing which is in fact adjustable. So we can have adjustable heights and angles. A short stubby aerial, moving round just for condition. And now passenger side rear wheel for condition. A carbon fiber ABS cap. That's a cover and the belt line has been wrapped in black. Again, carbon fiber. And finally, passenger side front wheel. So while we're here, we're going to go onto the inside. So, these have been wrapped in our Cantara. This is carbon fibre. This Cooler Works racing shifter and heated Recaro seats, along with TRS harnesses and an MSA half roll cage. This was a half safety cage that's been fitted, as you can see over there. steering wheel and seats for condition. Now, this car's only on 52,000 miles, got heated seats and front windscreen for the winter, and only one previous owner. Move round, these are Bison on headlights, with headlight washers, carbon fibre again on the scoop, a genuine mini part and quite difficult to get hold of these days. The front uh, daytime running lights have been removed for brake cooling, as you can see straight through there. So moving on to the bad bits, or you could say they're bad bits, but give the car race race car look and character. Um, we do have some stone chips. I think they're quite easily visible in the video, as can be expected for the use of the car. Uh, the car has been exceptionally well maintained, however, mechanically, for the purpose of what it's going to be doing. Uh, there are no wheel curbs. Um, some very, very light scratches. I think the only real one to mention that's of any significance is over here. But it can be polished out. It's visible. That's not a scratch. That's just the wiring overhead. That concludes the video of this very fast car. Right, we're now on to the exhaust sound of the video. So we're going to do start up in normal mode and then some revs and then some revs in 
sport mode as well. So let's begin with startup. Now the engine is nice and warm, so that's a warm start. So let's have some revs. Lovely. And we'll now change it to sport mode. And now we'll have some revs in sport mode. Oh, my God. 